Welcome back, guys, to Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door after searching far and wide for General White. He turned up in his own city in the end. We kind of followed him all the way back, but I was just hoping to use the cannon just using the manual. Now it's time to teach him a lesson, however, after he just sneakily peeked out here. I'm not having any of that, that's for sure. Sort him out. He seems to be asleep. Wake him up. Exactly. This will teach him a lesson even better. I'm jumping on him. Still sleep. Try again. Sure. Do more. As much damage as possible. Still sound asleep. Well, I'm quite fine with taking revenge. Is Debney still asleep? He's still sawing logs. Okay, now actually, now this is getting annoying. He could be more asleep. I do like good old revenge. He's counting sheep. Try again. Just think how much damage two of my jumps do. How much HP does he have? He woke. Nah, still asleep. Ah. Oh. Okay, this is just ah, oh, sleeping like a stash baby. Try again. Yes, keep, we're gonna take him out. He's not even budging. Try again. How many times do we have to jump on him? He's still snoring away. Try again. That was a good waking noise, wasn't it? Ooh, nice spins. Now, who are you? I'm tired. I do not need your attention. I just want to sleep as it is all hopeless. Huh? That moustache, that hat, and that hammer even! Hut hut! I have been looking everywhere for you! Ready? Why? Well, to bring that cannon back online! I would lost my life's work, my very reason to live. I found myself at wit's end and then the rogue port fortune teller told me. Seek the man with the red M hat, the one with the hammer and stash. He will fulfill your dreams, or something like that. Hut? You need to use the cannon to help you save the entire world? Hip hip hurrah! That fortune teller was right! So what are we waiting for? I shall get the cannon ready to go tell the mayor! Now get moving, Hut Hut! To be honest, that fortune teller did us a disfavor there, really. As they say, if you're lost in the woods, it's easier for people to find you if you stay still! If you just stayed still, we would have found him. Alright then, let's get this going! So, cannon is back online? Well, I could just explode with the light. Now let us shoot you guys to moon. Oh, oh that's a good idea. We've done it, old boy. Now you follow me. You come this way. But this isn't the cannon. It's right here. Okay, we're going into the previous area. The cannon's over there. You don't seem to be shivering that much anymore, right? Now you stand here! Obviously that cannon wasn't the real thing. Which meant that my earlier insinuations were wrong. General White is Big Bomb Cannon ready! Hut! Leave it to me! Now men, you know the drill. Load the Big Bomb Cannon! How oh, they were standing in kind of formation around here. Ho! Hup! Hup! Boom! Now positions everyone! Yes sir! Kind of crazy. Okay, they're going in there, the room that we can get in. Well, they got a fancy control room. Bring guidance system online. Bringing system online. System now online. System check. System check. All clear. Prepare for detonation sequence. Open out a hatch. So our certain death comes to us, as Coops politely put it. Open in a shutter! This is quite a technological marvel going on here. Elevate on my mark! Music's cool. Okay, so that cannon statue? Definitely not the one we were looking for. That's massive. I slightly wonder what you've got blowing the thing up. Sighting! Target is the moon! You need a bit up, up a bit more, up, up a bit. Well, no, 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 I thought you were kind of okay with where you were, but whatever. Direction 7538, elevation 54.66, range 389603. This is crazy! 
Wind speed, 1.08. Correct direction, 3.03. Correct elevation, minus 2.39. They're very, very good at this. Well drilled crew, target lock, chamber hatch open. Now, everyone in, everyone. I thought they had some kind of really well bed fed bomb or something. One massive one, like the pink ones. It's one hell of a charge, explosion wise. Close chamber hatch. It's crowded in here, boom. Stop pushing, bazoom. Ow, ow, ow. You're on my foot, baboom. It's time here, plume. I'm getting nervous. Stop breathing on my neck. Conditions all green. Stand by. Okay. It's time. Big bomb cannon. Fire. And off we go. Yahoo! They all take parachutes back down. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was so awesome. Good luck, Mario. I'm slightly wondering about my survival in that kind of scenario, but whatever. We'll just go with it. Yeah! It's better than that weird car we had last time that took us to Bowser's castle, for example. Blasted by cannon. The true way to travel. I'm glad we can breathe on the air. Breathe on the air? Breathe on the moon, that's what I meant. Well, that was rather a bumpy trip, what what? Who would have guessed I'd get to do such a thing? Well, old boy, we're really on the moon by crabbery. So what say you? Shall we find the last crystal star and save Peach? Mm. Oh, yeah. Yes, we should do that. It seems we're slower and we can jump higher. Which is kind of cool, but now the real question comes to where are we going? And are there any star pieces? Well, this looks like it could be exploderized. For a stopwatch here. We've got space in our inventory because of other things. Alright, which way to go? Well, there's a save point just handily in this crater. We only go to the left? No, we can go to both sides. So which way? Which way? Say confusing. Check behind the rocks for star pieces. We expect to find more out here, to be honest. It wouldn't have been burned up by the atmosphere. Okay, we got we got evil monsters. Oi, I'm trying to hit you. You're trying to hit me. This is getting pointless now. Right. Uh. Ow. It was destiny. Ow. They do so much damage, all these monsters now. I hate them so much. Uh. Right then. Goombella, tell us what we need to know. I'm pretty sure Quake Hammer's what we're going to do first. Knock them on their back. That's a moon cleft. It's your basic cleft living on the moon. Max HP is 6, attack is 5, and defense is 5, so I can't even really hit it otherwise. Defense is high as usual, and fire attacks don't work against it. If you can turn it over with an explosion, though, its defense goes down to zero, so Bobbery's really good here. That's all we need to know, but of course, our best move throughout the entire Let's Play so far has definitely always been Quake Hammer. Quake Hammer makes life easy. Any attack that generally hits everyone is quite easy, but then considering it knocks them over, and, it, and if they're on the roof, it's just so multi-purpose. I've probably said about how good Quake Hammer is many, 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 many times after all. So you've heard it all before. But Bobbery, we really need you here. And you can get us a vault room, but we can't carry any more. Watch we get rid of the stopwatch, the power punch that I picked up at some time. Let's get rid of that one. Come on then, moon cleft. How am I going to avoid them striking first is another question. We actually managed to do a super cut and didn't take any damage due to it. Lovely. I'm still going to use a quake hammer to be honest. We got punies in the audience and perfect time for Bobbery. Oh, ow. Well, it defeated that one at least, so I'm not so hurt. And the rain is on that one as well. Just to pour it on. Let's clear this mist out, eh? We're on new stage. No, you missed. You cleared the mist, but you missed all the same. Mist, mist. Okay. 
bit worried that everyone might get back up now, but probably, I'm guessing, it will just knock it straight back down. Nope, didn't get up. We're fine, we're cool. Probably, you're going to be very handy this chapter, I'm sure. Keep moving onwards. Hello, Mooncleft. We know you're going to come. Ah! 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 Let's do a super god again. Oh, I'm quite good at them this time around. Let's not toot my own horn here too much. We needed to bring down the moon then. Not so much luck with that. The background moon. Very useful for us if it does. Ow! A fork hit him? Why did a fork hit him? And are you really giving us extra defense here? Cheers. Uh, none of them can actually attack me, but thank you. Anyway, let's deal with the remainder. And yet again, the mist sets in. Bobbery, it seems to happen more when you're around. I hope you hit. No such luck. Right, that's worrying then. I might need to... No, wait a second. They got 5 HP. I do... 8 clear damage with my hammer. So I can actually just hammer it down for me. And do 3 damage? Yes. Perfection. And Bobbery, you've got the clean up. Oh, so you only do 1 damage, but you knock him down. I was hoping you do... What on earth just landed on him? Okay, some crazy things going on at the moon and with this new stage. We've taken them all down for another 12 star points. Hopefully we won't need to heal at all, you sweet tree. Hopefully we'll just be able to level straight up. Of course, when this happens, it just gets annoying. Well, I can seem to super guard against these very, very well. Let's go with the same routine and hope the mist doesn't set in again. That's fine by me, everyone just took one extra damage, brilliant! I cleared out one. Oh goodness, I wasn't expecting that to hurt me. Well, it took out the others as well, but four damage to both me and Bobbery, not nice. I thought that was some kind of celebratory thing, because sometimes when you're on the stage and you join, you just get those go off. There's another kind of thing to explode down there. The moon. It's going to take a long time to explore, I feel. Nothing there, however. One small step for man. One giant leap for Mario kind. Let's go. We're not finding any more goodies in these rocks, especially the smaller ones. Bigger ones, maybe a little bit more. We can dodge the moon. Blow him up! Oh, Bobbery! I was hoping you'd get him! Mind you, if I keep super going like that, but this is getting. These battles in themselves are fairly repetitive in terms of enemy formations. Are there only quests on the moon? I was going to say something along the lines of Are they the only monsters that can breathe here? But then I remembered. And then I remembered. I can too! I was hoping the moon would come down there, do a little bit of extra damage, but no such luck. Oh, I was so hoping that we need a refill of our FP, but we'll get another 12 star points from this, which will take us up to a total of 86. So we're going to be quite near leveling range, so our HP or anything, not a true worry. But anytime you want to come, Mrs. Curse Lady, and give us some extra, uh, you know, experience, that'll do me. We really have to fight through, though. Every time they strike first, but every time I just repel them. This'll give us another nine experience. I still managed to build up the crowd a lot. Oh no, the mist comes in once again. And, oh, it fell down, didn't hit any of us, didn't even have to dodge it, and finished off one of our guys. Lovely. This is gone, at least. Let's hope nothing goes on with the stage anymore. Don't kill me, stage. It's supposed to be on my side. And 
be as stylish as we want. One more battle for another level. Man, the moon is full of enemies. And is my coin cap at 999? Because we might be reaching it very, very shortly. Another guy came, but no, this time we finally got the first strike. And there's only two of them this time as well. Which means I might approach this battle a little bit different. A normal hammer with Mario. Let's save a little bit on the FP. We're not going to level up this time after all. And we'll knock the next one over with Bobbery. Ah, 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 what's coming, what's coming? Get out of it, you. Bobbery will sort you out. No stylish that time, but we are perfectly done without use of FP. Another four points. Is it my imagination, or did we get less points that time? I thought it was three per monster before. That time we only got a couple. I wonder what exactly we're looking for on the moon. Okay, new enemies around, and with a nasty form of attacking. All right, there is a warp pipe in the horizon. Let's try and get onto these guys without them hitting me. Ow. Right, so we don't know what you can do, so it's time to bring out our little madame. Tell us what's going on. That's a Ziyuk. Ziyuks? Ziyuk? I don't know, it's a genetic improvement on the original Yucks. The max HP is 7, attack is 4, and defense is 0, which means we can defeat it quite easily. Multiple mini Z Yucks will appear to protect the main units you'd expect. Sometimes they also restore HP to the main unit, which really burns me up. It doesn't have much HP, but these barriers often protect it from attacks. So we can at least take down one without any problem at all. In fact, I know- oh, we can't use the hammer. A normal hammer would have done rather than a jump. And of course I managed to do the stylish a lot better with the hammers. Right then, summon the monster, though it seems we're getting a little bit of defense here. We don't really need it, because any damage we would have took, we'd be fine. We're leveling up, my dear. Rubella, take it down. Don't need to know how much HP that has, because I know I can take it out no problem at all. Finally time to level up once again. It's time to take some more HP, I feel. We have been leveling up quite fast recently as well, I feel. Anyway, let's bring our HP up to 45. We're in good shape once again. I'll take your coins that we're getting shot at still. Robbery! We need you for something. Even Bobbery can jump fairly high, it's crazy! We found the warp pipe! Let's go in, let's dodge this z -yucks. And Take a trip into this HQ of theirs. I wonder what was in the other direction on the moon there. Don't want to miss any shine sprites, rather suspicious building when you say old boy, do be careful, eh? Sure thing, we're in guess 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 land! Doesn't look like there's any traps thus far. Seems we finally entered the x North base. Who's that dude? It's Mario. Whoa! That's Mario! It is indeed! So let's get him! No, I'm Luigi, honest. Why didn't it work this time? Why does everyone mistake me for him? But it won't work this time. Can't flee this fight? Well, I have no intention of fleeing. Beat up the x North is my MMO. MMO? MO? What, modus operandi, not an MMO mass multiplayer online game. That's all. That's an elite Exnort. This guy is the cream de la creme of the Exnorts. Max HP is 10, we can... Oh, defense is 1. Urgh. Attack is 5 and defense is 1. He'll use regular attacks as well as boosting his parallel size. Elite Exnorts are tough, but you just have to smack away until they go down. So jump does 8 damage and hammer does 7. How much does a power smash do? Piercing blue glow will do eight. I think that would leave him with just. I think that will do nine. 
so we need a little bit more damage. We have no clear cut 10 unless we use. Something's falling on me. I can't even see it. Right, using a potion, are you? Plus two strength, that's no problem for me. We block that one. Right, so, partner attack for the first one. No problemo. The Goombella isn't exactly strong versus this kind, and a nasty timing for that to go down. I was expecting to use Spring Jump. I think that's the only thing I have that will take them down in one go. Actually, probably the, the Spin Jump would do it as well, thinking about it. Right, let's switch over to Bobbery, because he's going to have to clear out the mist no matter what. If we have him attack first, and we can definitely attack him on the next turn. But no matter what, Bobbery got the job done! Yeah! We've defeated them! Come on then, bring on whatever you can! Mario, old boy, since these x naught ruffians are about... Yes, I'm quite sure it's The Crystal Star must be here as well! Our dear Peach must be here too when you say, let's find her, old boy! Let's find her indeed, but we'll continue the search, or at least find her, hopefully, next episode. So join me for that, I'll see you guys around with the cool music playing! Bye bye